So no marketing as a hard marketing. Did you hear that again? There's no marketing as a hard marketing. A lot of books out there, a lot of systems, a lot of tools, a lot of knowledge that you probably have. You heard so much, you learned so much, you implement so much. Today's short reminder on a hard marketing. There's no marketing as a hard marketing. Thank you for being here for these few minutes to watch this. Stay with me. You might get reminded of some good stuff, okay? It can help you to have more sales. But in the end of the day, it's not all about the sales. It's about that life that you want. So when you have a new client, when you, when you, uh, you know, find that business partner that you want, when you find that funding, in the end of the day, it's about the values that you're spreading into the world. So stay with me. If you're first time here, my name is Sylvia Popovich. I'm a mindset and a business strategist, international speaker, and TV host of The Boss Talk Show. I help leaders overcome the fears so that they can penetrate new markets with their products and the services. And what I do in a Boss Talk Show, I interview successful entrepreneurs where they share their story and I help them to have more engagement in a multiple countries. Okay, good. Let's be serious here. <laughs> no marketing as a hard marketing. What does that mean? Okay. A lot of coaches, a lot of consultants, a lot of books, a lot of systems are saying, you know, do this and you will get more sales or do this. And you, there are few, few who are really, uh, uh, touching the core the core of what marketing is. One of them is Gary Venturker. If you didn't, if you don't know who Gary is and you're in a business, check Gary out. Gary V. Okay. So basically kindness and being kind and sharing your story is the core of every good marketing. Okay. So if you're, you know, having a headache and think, and asking yourself, how can I have a new investor? How can I have more money? How can I have more clients? Let me reverse that. How much did you open to your audience? How many stories did you share where your audience could relate? How much content did you add to your audience so that they could say, oh, he's authority or she's authority in that? Who knows about you? For real. Like, who knows about the stories, experiences, and uh, uh, background that you have? As you can see, uh, lately, I started to share many, many, many videos, some stories that I never share publicly. And why did I do that? Why did I, I decided to do that? Because I was so reminded that people, and the reminder for you, people do business with people they like and trust. People do business with people they like and trust. So ask yourself this question. How can I make People, people like me more and people trust me more. One more time. Like me more, trust me more. Okay, so the best way, really the best and actually the only way that someone will like you or not like you, but someone will like you is to be yourself, is really to be yourself. And that's why when you see me in this professional videos done on a very spontaneous way, I don't, I don't care because this is me. If I feel like I'm, I'm having a fun today and I feel in this funny mood and element, I just want to speak it out and do it tomorrow. If I want to be serious, straight, sharp to the point, I'm going to do it as well. But authenticity, authenticity and being yourself is 100% filter people to like you. So you need to put yourself out there. You need to record a video. You need to write a blog. You need to go and network with people and just be yourself. Not be like, oh, I need to be this. I need to be that. I know we've all been there. We're trying to fit in some boxes because we see other people doing it like that. And they're like, oh, I should duplicate. No, just be yourself. Really. And recently, you know, I, I had an amazing conversation with one person and, and and he said, I've been following your video and something changed. I see a change in you. It's like a new person. Yeah, you know, you know, I, I want to share with you, you know what changed? I got tired of trying to fit in and, and trying to find, okay, who am I? And I just gave up and I said, you know what? 
if this version of myself, who is myself, is not good enough for some people, I'm fine with that. But I know that the more authentic I present you my stories and my life, and I want you to do the same, the more you will relate with people who are your people. That means new business partners, new clients, new partners. So the best way to people to like you is to be yourself. The second thing is trust. Okay? Let's talk about trust, baby. <laughs> Let's talk about you and me. So you all love that song, right? So look at this. Trust is really related with authenticity. Most of the people, they, they don't create this bridge of trust with other people because they are scared. If they really, really, but really, really tell the other person or a business partner or whoever you're talking to who you really are and, and show, you, show yourself, be vulnerable, that they will lose that opportunity. But actually, opposite things happen. If you don't open up, if you don't open up first and you're just expecting that the other person, oh, she needs to trust me or he needs to trust me or this company needs to trust me, nothing will happen because the world starts to change the moment when you take that first step. So how to create more trust? Consistency. Consistency is one of the magic words that I love, consistency. And, and we can compare that actually with the children. Look at this. I was working as a teacher for many years. And what I find out is when you have a new child coming to school, it's like freaking out, crazy. The child only wants the mom. And like, even though I love children, <laughs> at that moment, I'm the bad. You know, I'm the one who's uh, doing this separation between mom and the child. So, uh, you know, the child doesn't know that I want him there. The child doesn't know that I have so many activities. The child really doesn't know. So what does it do? It's like, no, I hate you. Move. Crying, protesting. So it is the same in relationship. It doesn't matter is it a private or is it a business relationship. When we come to the new situation, new partner, new business partner, new meeting, it's like, it's this thing. Uh, okay, so what, I mean, what's going to happen there? Will they attack me? It's not a safe place. So what is it you can do to build that trust? You can be consistent. That means if you said that you're going to call someone, you do call that person in, in, the, in the time that you said. If you had a breakfast with that person or, or a lunch or a business meeting, you take responsibility to initiate that again. Um, if you were like on the phone with your business partner and everything was great and then you just disappear, hey, you're breaking the trust. So you can maximize, you can maximize the, the, the wealth in your life by being consistent. Now, can you do it with all people that you know? No, you cannot. So that's why it's very important that you know who are the people who are priorities in your life. Who are your five inner circle people that you go to them when you're sad, when you're angry, where you have problems, where you can open up and they will not coach you. They will just be there to listen to you. They would just be there to say, hey, you know what? I completely understand how you feel. So you have that list. And then you have a list of the people in a business who are very important to you. When was the last time that you messaged them? When was the last time that you reach out to them? So you, you need to be consistent in building that relationship. So look at this. It is the same with social media. It is the same with your business. Because there's no marketing as a hard marketing. So when you start thinking about what Sylvia said here today, I know it's a lot, but look at this. When you start thinking about after watching this video, ask yourself, wait a second, wait a second. Am I expecting people to buy from me because I have a great service and actually you're hiding your heart? and you're hiding your personality, and you're hiding the things that why people would like you, and you're hiding the thing and you're not consistent why people would do business with you. Or are you opening up, sharing your story, recording a video, you're in the media, you want to be on television, you want the world to know your story, plus you have great services or products. You see the difference? So you need to open up first. 
you need to open up who you are first, your personal brand. And then you say, okay, and this is what I do. This is what I do. So reminder for today, don't invest money in expensive marketing strategies, in expensive advertising. Check up from the neck up. When was the last time you put yourself on camera? When was the last time you showed someone love? When was the last time you gave someone an opportunity to like you? If you're hiding behind your Facebook, Instagram, or LinkedIn profile, nothing happens. People do business with people they like and trust. And there's no marketing as a hard marketing. So decide today. Put it on the paper. How will you implement this? Will you record a video tomorrow about yourself and how you can help this world? Will you share a personal story? Will you reach out to a magazine? Will you reach out to a television? This is where the action happens. And most importantly, this is where the magic happens. And when you have that magic, everything is possible. Then you have clients, then you have investors, then people come to you. You don't have to go and beg them, be my client. No. Change your perspective. There's no marketing as a hard marketing. Like and trust. Thank you for watching this. Put it in the comment. What is your action plan? How are you gonna put your heart out? Show me that. I want to see your heart. Show me that love. Bye-bye. <laughs> have a good day.